So, the 8th generation of consoles, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, are the first consoles to have a mid-gen refresh upgrade. When the PS4 Pro launched back in November 10th, 2016, the Xbox One X launched back in November 7th of 2017, is it still worth keeping your standard original models of your Xbox One and PlayStation 4? So today we're going to be talking a little bit about why I honestly think that they are still worth keeping and I'm going to get a little bit of a presentation to it. So, the, like I said, these are the first consoles to support first mid-gen refresh upgraded systems. Other than that, they are very, very secure. They have great graphics and all that, even on the original models. But there's been people that have upgraded to the PS4 Pro from the either standard PS4 or the standard Xbox One. And then there's been people that has also upgraded to the Xbox One X from the standard Xbox One or the standard PlayStation 4. Well, I'm honestly going to have to literally tell you guys something. Not to be physically mean or anything like that, but there's not really that much big of a difference between the graphics and all that stuff from the based Xbox One and the based PlayStation 4. Like, all you're getting is just co more colorful textures, a much smoother frame rate, and then also native 4K resolution with HDR support that's not really that much big of a difference over the base model of the Xbox One and the PS4, like over the base models of the hardware. Like, all you're getting is mainly 4K resolution and better frame rate. The graphics themselves are not changing and all that. So, what I don't get is why does everybody get these consoles and yet they still they'd rather sell their regular edition PS4s or regular edition Xbox Ones like I'm going to literally tell you you could buy the PS4 Pro brand new or the Xbox One X brand new and you already sold your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One based original model and something could be wrong with your Xbox One X or your PS4 Pro it, I mean uh, I'm not saying that it would uh, physically be messed up you could be lucky and the system might last you quite several years upon or you could be not so lucky and the system might actually quit working on you or screw up on you out of nowhere probably like the next day after you bought the system and then what are you going to do now after you sold your PlayStation 4 and your Xbox One even though they're not as much worth it as they were when the first two years after they launch what are you going to do that's exactly what I'm saying like you're selling your original model of your system but yet you don't know what's going to happen with the pro or the x and then you're going to be screwed out of luck because you've already sold your original xbox one or playstation 4 and then you're just you're just going to be crap out of luck now see this is the reason of why I even still got my base models of the PS4 and the Xbox One. So if something did happen to my new systems, look, you're going to have backup right there. All of your games are still playable that you own on disc or digital. You can literally still download them. 
you got all your saves saved like Microsoft has a cloud save process so if you get on another system after you played one most of your games on another console and you get on another system your progress is it's going to literally automatically as soon as you start up the game it's going to sync data from the cloud and it's going to look oh you got to save data and it's going to directly download it in like two seconds and it's like you didn't even do nothing and your save was still there so you're not going to lose all your save process at least for the xbox side now playstation works just a little bit differently than the xbox one now if you are not a playstation plus member then you are shit out of luck which i think sony should have done that with just like what xbox is doing instead they shouldn't have said that it's only for plus members because there's numerous people out there that own ps4s and that you know they don't have plus they just like to care the, all they care about is just playing their games on PS4, but yet they still have internet, but all they care is they want to play all of their games on PS4, and they just want to, like, you know, get trophies and just play for fun of it, not all this online stuff. Well, Sony, on the other hand, only if you're a Plus member, has it to where you would go to the dashboard and you would have to go to applications save data whatever and then it'll ask you do you want to upload to online storage or go to online storage and download the system storage and you just click on go to online storage download the system storage of your games and they're all going to be there like if you put your ps4 in like rest mode while you're downloading some games or something here and there and in the meantime, while well, it's in rest mode, probably usually around after the games are done, all your saves, it'll automatically like link without you even knowing about it. And then you lose your save on a new PlayStation 4 and you just go back to there and you're like, holy shit, my save was there all along. See, you're not going to lose all your save data. Now, the only thing, the only reason I'm saying this is because for those of you that do want to upgrade or that also have upgraded mainly for you guys that do are planning on upgrading to the ps4 pro or the xbox one x it's still really really worth a lot to keep your regular a model ps4 or xbox one now like i said you might be lucky and the ps4 pro or the xbox one x might last you several years or it could last you only like one month and then it fucks up on you or it may last you like maybe one or two days and then it screws up on you or it may last you two years uh, who knows anything is possible and if your system uh, older system still works and you haven't like physically like played it because of you know playing on the new upgraded hardware gen consoles which is the xbox one x and the ps4 pro wants more time and you're gonna wish like i said you should have kept them but if you put them up and they work after you buy the system they're more than likely going to still work and they're going to be there they're going to save you lots of money so you sell the ps4 and the xbox one they're not really worth five hundred dollars or four hundred dollars at launch like they were now the ps4 pro and the xbox one x on the other hand that's how much they are because they're newer the regular edition model ps4s and xbox ones have been out for almost five years this coming up november they have been out for five years so you are selling the system you're only going to get at least probably $200 out of both of the consoles. Like, that's only how much you'll get. If you get lucky enough, you may end up getting 250 at the most between uh, selling a regular Xbox One and a regular a PS4. But, like I said, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X are still $400 and $500. So you sell that, 
and you keep that money and then your system breaks, you're not going to have that much money to still go out and buy a new one. And then you screwed yourself completely. But instead, let's think with a smarter brain. Okay, instead of selling it for as less money than what you originally paid for or what it was originally worth, let's just say this for an instant. You have one, and then you also have enough money to go buy one of the upgrade systems, and then you decide to put your Xbox One or PlayStation 4 basically in like your closet or somewhere put up, and you keep the system out, you don't sell it, and then the next second, just of a possibility, your Pro or your Xbox One X ends up breaking or crashing down on you, and then it just starts screwing up, or it still will work, but it just won't play discs anymore, then what? look at that. You look in your closet, and the last time you played it, you remember it working, and you hook it up, and looky there you got yourself a backup system to still play and then until you're able to get money to go buy another one of the upgrades now see that's what I'm talking about that's going to save you lots and lots of time I don't understand why people think that just because you buy a system and then you sell the previous one or whatever because all you're really doing is you're just taking a 50% 50% chance of, you know, a 50% risk of screwing yourself over quite a couple hundred dollars. Now, this is even the same thing what I even said before when upgrading from the PS3 to the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. And see, you would know if your Xbox One or PS4 would end up breaking because they just literally launch and usually when most games or most consoles first launch day one there's always going to be about quite a few problems that need to be improved in order to make the system successful or or to make it complete they try to do their best and then sometimes they want to see if it's good enough and there's always going to be something wrong with a game or a system after it first comes out So, yeah, and then you buy a PS4, and it screws up on you, like the internet side of things, like the online, and then you're very mad, and guess what? You still had a PS3 to play games until you're able to get the money to go out and buy another system, or better yet, if you had a year warranty or something on one of the systems, and something was wrong in that year, and you were shipping it back to Sony for Sony to either fix or ship you a brand new one, it would still take like a week or possibly two weeks. And guess what? You have a PS3 that you can play for the two weeks until you get it back. Now you see what I'm saying? That's why it is still worth keeping your original model Xbox Ones or PlayStation 4s even after you upgrade to the One X or the PS4 Pro. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, I I just wanted to make this as a quick video for you to help everybody out in the long run. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, And if you are new, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notify notification symbol beside it so you can keep up with more content that I have for in the future. And then also, if you guys could, please send me down in the comment section down below if you're an owner of one of the upgrade systems and you still have the original models or if you're a original PS4 or Xbox One owner but you still have an Xbox 360 or a PS3. So just send me down in the comment section down below of your guys' thoughts and I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace out.